4, it's got values of 6. So I'll do this. I'll do the first part. And then this will be a homework. We have several homework. And this is homework 18. Now to make sure that you do because we test your understanding now. Now you are experts in electronic configuration. So then, so in that case, you say the solution. You have to understand the issue of covalence, covalence remember solution. Uh, the first state, covalence, covalence of an atom, for example. Covalence of an atom, of an atom. This is equal to what? Is equal to number of what? Number of electrons. So if we be asked the number of unpaired electrons, valence is equal to the number of unpaired electrons in the valence shell. Paired duty, number of unpaired, number of unpaired, unpaired electrons in a certain of valence. It's covalence share at the meaning of 40 of covalence. So to write electron configurations of sulfur and to show its covalence of 4, it means that we have to show 4 and pair the electrons of sulfur uh, at the excited stage. So we go for the second stage, we define the vocabulary. So the second stage, this is also its concept. Because there's a point there, there's a concept you have to understand exactly. So the second step, we say the right electron configuration of sulfur. Right electronic configuration of sulfur. Sulfur at the ground state first. Ground state. So we say that the sulfur contain 16 electrons. So it's the electronic configurations. You have the electronic configurations of neon as a normal case. Then you have CBS square. Then you have CBP. So these are 10. These are 12. 16 minus 12 remain 4. So we have 4 electrons. Then here we have paired electrons, and then here we fill electrons according to Hans rule. Mm -hmm. Singly fill the first. We fill this, two, three. This there, and the first one. So for that case, at ground state, covalence, means at ground state, covalence here, covalence of sulfur at the ground state is what? Is two. So, if you write the electron configuration this form and then you leave the questions, you are completely wrong. You need to answer any part there. So to achieve covalence of form, then what should you do? It means that you should be allow paired electrons to be accepted. Okay? So it means that the electron configurations of sulfur, electron configurations of sulfur. Sulfur, so that will be the steady state. Steady state, we say that right or excite the paired electron, the second paired electron, paired electrons, paired electron in 3s sub level to God. To the first orbital of seven D as we did in case of phosphorus. So it are the case now, therefore, the electron configurations of sulfur with covalence of four of sulfur with covalence of four. This is equal to electron configurations of neon, which is normal case. And then say of what? Three S. S, uh -huh. so how many electrons you have in S? 
2 as usual. Then it's A, P, no, 1, because 1 is going to make same thing. 3P, we still have 4 electrons. No, we start from 4, excuse me. So, excite. Do you have a pair of electrons in the orbital? Yes, we have. So we have to excite these electrons first. And then we come to this, in case it's required. So we say that the electrons in the, in the 3P, in 3PX, in the first EOT, the second pair of electrons in the 3PX orbital, or sub-level to the first e orbital of 3D. So this S will be 2, and here, this one will mean 3, and then so 3D now, which we didn't show, we, don't, we didn't show the 3D or the D sub-level at ground, when they were being rated in the current configuration of, of, of sulfur at the ground state because it does, it, it does not accommodate any electrons. So it does not have any electrons, so it's meaningless if you show. But now we, we excite electrons to it. So if that's the case, here we have one electrons. So if you draw the, the box in there, so to show the distributions of electrons, then this is neon. Here we have series S. And this is the orbital. We spare the electrons. And then we have what? So we this, this one. And then we have this guy. So we have unpaired electrons now, and then we are going to have 3D orbital. 3D orbital contains, 3B D sub level contains five orbitals. One, two, three, four, five. So right now it contains one electron. In order to have covalence of 40 of four. One, two, three, four. So the covalence of 40 of sulfur for this case is equal to 4 and then we have already answered Roman 1. So Roman 2 is for homework and it's the simplest homework for intelligent and serious students like you. So let me give you another extra example. Another extra question to try at your own time. In case you get troubles, let me know because I'm always connected with you. Let me know so I can see how I can assist you. But the question is ordinary. So you have example. This is example seven again. And total homework. Write electronic configuration. Write electronic configuration. Electronic configuration of chlorine. Chlorine at excited state. Set in the state to show um, one is covalence of three. So, what do you learn? A same atom can have covalence of different number of electrons or different values of covalence. It's covalence of what? Of three. Then, show. It's covalence. It's covalence. So you just have to write and then you check the covalence. It's covalence of 40 or 5. And then, once we show the chlorine co covalence, chlorine covalence of 40 of 7. Very simple question for you. Okay, in case that you have any question concerning about him writing electronic configurations of 40 or for excited or of atoms at excited state, don't hesitate yourself to ask your questions in the OT in the comment sections and I will try my level best to help you to understand the concept.
So if you are okay now, I would like to take you into the last concept of atomic structure. And this concept we call electron configurations of ions or charged atoms. Let me teach you about what electronic electronic configuration. Electronic configuration. Electronic configurations or configurations of atoms. Or we call it charged charged ions. Say charged ions. Or say uh, the kind of relations of ions, not atoms. We are done as atoms. Now we are dealing with certain ions. Say ions. Again, say ions. So I'm teaching you electron configuration of 40 of ions or charged ions. First of all, what is the meaning of charged ions or what the means of ions? An ion is it's an atom which either has lost its valence electrons or has gained uh, some other electrons in order to form either cation or an ion. You can define them in terms of energetics. We call it in one mole of the gaseous atoms and or gaseous ions. So in case of ions, you have two types of ions. In chemistry, we have cations and dirty anions. So I will have to teach you how you can write electron configuration of cations and dirty anions. Because in some cases that you find, Maybe even a question of the 10 marks is, all, uh, is, uh, is, is asking you to write electron configurations of ions. And then, what if I haven't told you? It means that I contributed you to fail in that exam, and that, that's not my intention. So we say uh, formations of the charged atoms of ions must be combined with either removal or additions of electrons to an atom. So as to form either positive charged ions, cations, or negative charged ions, respectively. So this change. So you have to write, this change in number of electrons must be con considered in writing electrons, electron configurations of the ions. So we say that, let me help you. Formation of ions, or channel of ions, right? This is a compound, a compound, We sort addition or removal of 40 of electrons. Additions or removal of electrons mean that two additions of electrons to or from atom. So this process tends to reduce the number of electrons. It's not like it, uh, ex ground state and excited state of an atom. Yeah, we say that the number of electrons remain constant. But for this case, you say the number of electrons does not remain constant. Fantastic. So you say that in uh, this process, you say that the ionization Ionization or formations of ions. The process of forming ions tend to either increase or decrease, increase or decrease the number. Of electrons. Increase or decrease the number 40 of electrons in the atom. So this is now a very electron configuration which so reduced number of electrons. Increase or decrease the number of electrons in the atom.
So, if that the case now, what do we say that we say, okay, fine, that the, if that the case, that is good, we say now let us put the business. Let me teach you so. So because the number of electrons increase or decreases, so you say that also in writing the electronic configurations of the atoms, uh, the, this change in the number of electrons must be considered. The change of number of electrons, okay, in the atoms, can you information? During formation of ions must be considered. Must be considered on writing electronically configuration. In writing electronically configuration. Writing or drawing electronic configuration by the print. So you have to take into consideration. So you have to teach you how you can take that into consideration. Let us start to say electronic configurations of cations. In removing electrons from the atom, so to form the cations, the electrons will remove you from the outermost energy level. This is from the orbital with greatest decrease for quantum number, regardless to the order of filling electrons to the orbital. You see, see this is study careful. So you say that in, in removing electrons from the atom so as to form cations, electrons is removed from the outermost energy level. So let us start this part. A electronic configuration. Electronic configuration of 40 of cations. So you say formation of cations, okay, formation of cations implies, implies the remove of electrons from the higher, higher energy level from the higher energy level, right? From the higher energy level, that is from the orbital with greatest place for quantum number, or from orbitals with high principal quantum. So we say that if this is the case, we say that regardless of all of filling electrons to the orbital, regardless of order of filling electrons in the atom. So let me give you an example. This is because that was example seven. Let's go to example eight. <coughs> we say that the example eight say that draw electron configuration of the following ions. The frequently asked, draw the electronic. It's mostly asked in advanced certificate second education examination. That's what I'm teaching you. Draw the Electronic configuration of an atom of these ions, of these ions. The first ion is what? Ion, ion 2, if I'm not mistaken. Ion 2. The second one is zinc. Zinc lost the two electrons. The third one is iron three. 
So I will do five and two, and then three will be, and three and linky will be the whole thing, because they are simple. So I'll do four and two. What do you want to ask me to do also for and three? Simple. We just had one electrons to be lost. So solution. Because iron is a transition element, possibly don't the number of electrons, the starting point for to solve this problem. First state we say identify the number of electrons in the dirty in the iron atom. So if you refer to the chemical of correction, you find that the number for electrons for ion is 30, 26. So if that's the case, we go for the second step. Right? Yeah. Electronic of correction. Electronic of correction. Of 40 of iron atom. Iron atom. So we say that the electronic of equations of iron atom, what it is corresponding, number guess, is neon. No, it's argon now. So how many electrons are does argon contain? 18. And this is 26. So 26 minus 18 is equal to what? 8. So the next CN and level for this case is 4s. And this occupies two electrons if there is no, no any issue of full and half full row. And then we say that the next one is 4p. Is this it? 4p or 3d? 3d. And the next unit. 3p. So 3D and 4S. So we should write 3D for this case now, for the purpose of electronic configuration. We have to write 3D because of this the lowest is lowest 30, principal quantum number. So then we say that the S orbital should always pair. Electrons in S orbital should always pair as usual. So you have two electrons here. And then 2 plus 18 is equal to 20. 26 minus 18 is equal to 6. So the remaining electrons will be in the 6 electrons. The remaining 6 electrons will be 6. That is 6. Okay? So if we draw orbitals, demonstrate the feeling tendons. So you have this, we have this, we have this, we have this. And then absolute this. So here electrons are paired. Here we have to fill. We have six electrons. Singly fill called the hands rule. So you fill them in five. And then the remaining one we just put it there. Right? So now that is atom or iron atom at the ground state before even the issue of excitations or whatever. Because in order for to form the cations, the electrons should be excited from the ground state or from any other high energy level to the infinity regions where it cannot come back to its same place. So now we want to write the electronic of the for iron or for means that if I nice the iron. So is N is equal to 4, so the two electrons which are to be removed so as to form the ions, this one must be the four two electrons in this one. So we say it's a step. You have to understand this is sentence. We say that when electrons implies a remove of electrons, so uh, financial cations implies a remove of, of electrons from the higher energy level or from the orbitals with high principal quantum number, regardless of order of filling electrons. So in filling electrons, we used to fill, you know, this is 4S, excuse me. We used to write in previous electron configurations, we used to write that in, uh, 
uh, for example, this one, we we'll select at this album, and then for S, uh, square, then 3D, maybe possibly 5. So that is according to the situations of that situation. Right now, we are considering a higher principal quantum number. 4 is a higher principal quantum number compared to 3. So it is easy to remove electrons here in this sub-level or this principal quantum number rather than here. Because this is close to the nucleus, right? This one is away from the nucleus. So the second step, we say that in, uh, to have a nice or to form I I am two. We say that then the two electrons, the two electrons in three in four S, two electrons in four S should be removed. Should be removed. So what's going to happen? So now, if you write the electron configuration of iron, iron 2, this will make up the electron configuration of what? Of iron, and then what? And then we say that we have 3D6, and yes, we have 4S now, 0. So because it does not have any electrons, in right electron configuration, we may even exclude it. Because it does not have, contains and it cannot does not accommodate any electrons. But just for the purpose of demonstration for you to understand is this. Remember, don't confuse the issues and pair D or the issue of pair D here with the issue of ionizing or forming the cations. Don't confuse. That's why I'm teaching you step to step. So for this case, we have paired electrons as usual. Right? And then say, I have paired, and paired electrons. And in 4s orbital now, we have no n electrons because ion has already ionized and lost its sorting electrons. So this is the response for the, for the questions that you've been asked in Roman 1. Right? Have you understood? You think that, you see that how simple it is? Yes, it's simple. So now you can write for Dinky. Should use the modern predictable noted ocean of zinc and number of electrons, the atomic number which give you the number of electrons, and also you have to write IM3. So the answer of IM3 and uh, IM3 is, uh, is around there. For me, I know where I will get the response. But because it's your home, right? So go and try and think yourself. But in case you find you fail at all, don't just think to yourself, let me know in the comment section, and then I will try my level best to to help you to understand because the main goal of these programs or of these online secondary schools best to make students understand what they are learning. So that is was uh, the first part. Then I would like to teach you the electron configurations of 40 of anions. So this is to electronic electronic configurations. Forty of anions. So anions means that these are the elements which gain electrons, which has been lost, right? So anions gain sort electrons, while cations lose sort electrons. Okay, so you know about that, but just want to teach you how do you write this electron configuration. So you say that in the formation. implies what? implies the gaining of electrons. So it changes society, changes the number of electrons. And this gain of electrons will be of electrons will take place to unpaired electrons. So unpaired orbit. So the gain the electrons, but the constant, let me write it here. The gain the 
gain the electrons, gain the electrons, electron or electrons, terms for example, oxygen can gain two electrons. The gain the electron or electrons will be accommodated, accommodated in the empty, in the unpaired, unpaired sublevel or in, in the in the orbital contained unpaired in the orbital contain contain what contain unpaired electrons unpaired electrons in the orbital. So that's a concept. So it's not complex. We add electrons, for example, chlorine gain one electrons and form chlorine ions. And then oxygen gain two electrons and form what oxygen ions. Those are the simple elements that just you can think of. Okay? So that is chlorine gain one electrons and form what fluorine, fluorine ions, or fluoride ions. So let us go to example. And this is the example nine. To be the last for this lecture. So the question asks you that write or draw the electronic configurations. Write the electronic configuration of these anions. The first and anions. Like the electron configurations of chlorine ions, like the electron configurations of oxygen ions, and then like electron configuration of what? Chlorine ions, chlorine ions, just gains that do that. And then after oxygen, we have what? Sulfur. Then we have fluorine ions. Okay, etc. 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 But if you write this way, you know the foundation and how the things work. Good. So solution. So this one, because I left my homework, I leave homework for you. But those two I will answer them quickly. So the first is thing, those are the elements found in the table of 20 elements. So you know that chlorine contains what? 17 electrons and oxygen contains 8 electrons. So no need of too much hassle. So we say the first is thing, if you know that number of electrons, say that right, the electronic configuration, electronic configuration, of relations of what? Of chlorine atom. This is the one. So it's an electron of relation of chlorine atom. And you have to show it by using box muscle. So this, its normal is, is what? Neon. And then serve of 3S. And then serve of 3P. So these are 10, 12. So you still have five electrons. So if you draw its orbitals, we find that here we have paired electrons as usual. And then in P orbital, we have paired and unpaired orbital. So we fill singly, singly, and then we pair here, we pair. So this is an M30 or half in the orbital. So the incoming electrons will be added in there. So now we go for the second step. The second step we say that right electronic configuration right electronic configuration of oxygen no of water of, of chlorine ions now. So let me write clear here. 
So you may understand and enjoy the beauty of chemistry for the rest of your life. So you see that the talk of creation of chlorine atom, chlorine ion, is equal to neon, and then we have 3s, and then we have 3p, 5. So now we gain, it is gained 1 electrons, so the plus 6 electrons. So by using the box method, that's by using the orbital method, here we have paired electrons, and then here we have four paired electrons. Single paired, single filled, then we start pairing, start pairing. So that is electron configuration of 40 of chlorine. And then we go for Roman 2. Roman 2, you say that, right? Electronic configuration. So where does these electrons come from that have been added? It comes from what? Metal. That is it. It's formed in the cations because of those electrons. Right? Electronic configuration. Electronic configuration of what? Configurations of oxygen atom. Right? Oxygen atom. So this is the concept because, you know, how to pay attention, it's, you might ignore that, and I know this. And you're unfortunate that you forgot it. So oxygen contains electrons, six, eight electrons. So its normal gauge, corresponding normal gauge, is helium. And then we have two S, two electrons. We have two P. So these are two, four, and then there are four electrons. So if you draw their orbitals, here you have paired electrons. And if you draw the P orbital, on the piece of energy level, we singly fill with the hands full, and then we pair. So you see, so we have these two incoming electrons. So this is the place, so the first incoming electrons. And they come to fill here, the second incoming electrons. That's why it is ions is written to negative. So if that's the case now, this was the first step, and this now is the second step. So you say that right? The electronic configuration, right? Electronic configuration of what? Of, of oxygen and iron. So oxygen and iron, right like this. Oxygen and iron. This is equal to it. In orbital method, we write like this. Here we have two S, and here we have two P six. In box or in orbital box method, we fill two electrons, and even this P orbital is four filled with electrons. One, two, one, two, one. Two. So then that's electronic configuration, and this is the answer. On that questions. It's just like in, in this case, it's the answer. So I have answer this one. It's the answer for what? For chlorine. So this is the first step. Okay. So now this is the very good time. I really thank God who have been with me from the beginnings of this idea. When I was in A level, taught me when I was teaching analogy by meeting students physically and when I was preparing myself for this digital program he taught me when also I was um, teaching you he taught me however that I experienced many challenges but the Lord has been standing against me so I thank God for giving me power to reach this point for atomic structure I taught you more I taught you so much it means I taught you many concepts just meditate, review, watch the video several times as well as you can. And in case you have questions, go to state, ask in the comment sections. I might answer, even ask the students they can, they can answer. In case you find that in some of the lectures I teach fast or quickly, uh, don't you get confused. You can revise, it means that you can watch the videos several times as well as you can until you understand what I was saying there. 
So I know that possibly you have realized this sum of weaknesses in my program or in this project. Yeah, it happens. I understand that. I would like also to receive the positive comments, advice, in case that there are some of them that you are thinking that might help this program to, 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 to live even beyond of my beyond of my, my, my living. It means that after I die, this program should be continued helping the next generations to the generations. So, yeah, so maybe, so that's what I wanted to, to tell you. Maybe somewhere I pronounced it some way strongly. I'm, I'm very sorry for that. Maybe I ought to pronounce it this way and then I wrote differently. Excuse me for that. That's, that's, that's all that happens in the big project like this one. Mainly I thank you also for taking your time and being with me. This is our Lange of Life. I love you so much. And thank you because also you love me. That's why you have taken my program from the beginning to this point. And I would like also to invite you in the next program or in the next uh, topic called the chemical bonding. And I would like to say that I'm praying for you. I need it. I'm praying for you. I know you, I know you need my prayer to understand this stuff and even having peace. And also myself, I need your prayer. So let us pray for each other and let us meet in the next lecture. And I would like just to say that, let you and I just clap the hands to say thank you, God, for what you have done. Because you have done miracles in this program. Because you're the only one who deserves all the praise and all the glory. Because it is the one who showed me these visions in image a year ago. And then now he has done it. So let us give all the praise and all the glory to the living God. Thank you very much. May God bless you. See you in the next session.